One purchase at a drugstore that can lead to years of misery. We're talking about over-the-counter nasal spray. When used correctly, it can bring relief from a stuffy nose. Our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, found if warnings aren't heeded, users can easily get hooked on these, leading to a lifetime of dependence and, in some cases, permanent damage. Brian Dahl can't live without it. <laughs> People sometimes think I'm a cocaine user because I sniff so much, you know? Dahl's drug is legal and available at any drugstore over the counter. I've got one in my book bag that I carry around. I probably got one in my car. I probably got one upstairs in my bedroom. A stash of nasal spray, never far from sight, that's allowed him to breathe freely through his nose for two decades. Adrian Matthias, too. I had to have it in my drawer, at my house, in my car, anywhere I went, I had to have it. A nagging cold started her nasal spray addiction. But then the cold went away and I still couldn't breathe and I couldn't breathe without it, and then it became obsessive. Matthias and Dahl are far from alone. Sales of non-prescription nasal sprays top $45 billion with generic label, Afrin No Drip, and Afrin leading the pack. And the warning labels are there for a reason. This is a true addiction. It is a psychological and a physical dependence on this, so it can be a real challenge to get off of these sprays once you've been on them for a prolonged period of time. Too often, Dr. Raj Sindwani sees patients who can't stop the spray. Over time, they stop working and actually cause rebound swelling, putting you even further behind than when you were when you started taking them. So when should you take them and for how long? The sprays work for severe congestion, like from a sinus infection or cold. But as the box clearly states, no more than two doses a day and no longer than three to five days. Warnings Dahl and Matthias wish they followed. If I stopped using it, then it would just, inside just swell up and, you know, couldn't, couldn't breathe. When you can't breathe, you panic. And that's what makes it so scary. To break the cycle, doctors will usually switch a patient to steroid nasal spray. They're non-addicting and can be used long term. For tougher cases, steroids in a pill. Matthias kicked the habit on her own. Dahl is still struggling. The longer you use it, like for me, years and years and years, it's almost like your nose, it's like it remembers. Monica Robbins, Channel 3 News. Adrian managed to stop using the sprays. Brian fears he may need surgery to help fix his nasal passages. Doctors strongly encourage you to strictly follow the directions when using these products. They say over-the-counter sprays are fine for colds, but allergies are better served with steroid sprays that are not addicting and can be used long-term. Of course, talk to your doctor about concerns.